Dude, his head was bigger than my head. <laughs> oh my gosh, I got him. Oh, that's a big one. Oh my gosh. Please stay on, please. <gasps> Folks, what's going on? Welcome to the Fishing Norm YouTube channel. Comment dates popping up down below, so make sure you guys hit the subscribe button and the bell. Leave a comment down below on this video for your chance to be next video's comment of the day, guys. Today we got kicking their best TV uh, here with me, and we're at Walmart today, guys. And what Noah and I are going to do today is we're going to show you guys how to always catch fish in the summer. We're going to go inside, choose some of our favorite baits, give them away to you guys, so you guys can catch fish in the summer. So before we go inside Walmart, guys, just like a little 30-second preview of basically what summer fishing is all about, guys. That water is getting super hot, at least here in Florida, and probably in Georgia, Alabama, the areas year round too. A lot of my spots have grass in them. So what the summer bass are doing, at least where I'm at, is a lot of times they'll hide in that grass because it provides them a ton of oxygen. So just keep that in mind when we're picking out the lures today, guys. I'm gonna kind of be doing stuff that I'm gonna be fishing around grass. But no matter what we choose, guys, anything can work. The number one tip I could give you guys for fishing any time of year is just putting in practice. Because every single lake, and even by the day by day, they might be biting on something different than they were the day before, guys. So just mm. practice is the number one key. But hopefully today we'll help you guys get like a good start on maybe where you should start with summer fishing lures and uh hopefully we'll catch some big ones today too bro on the summer yeah, fishing lures yeah, I'm guys i'm excited let's go inside walmart let's go all right guys we're here in the walmart fishing section noah is kind of looking at baits guys and when i think summer fishing there's a lot of things i think but the most important would be definitely shade i know shade is a great place to fish pretty much all times of year but especially in the summer when that sun is beating down guys there's a lot less oxygen in the water in the summer because it's so hot outside i think shade is a great place for bass to hang out also structure is very very important all times of year but especially in the summer and also guys where i'm at grass I mean it's like the number one thing and it can actually be really tough to catch them this time of year because they'll just sit in the grass and they don't want to move just because it's so hot outside and that grass actually provides them oxygen but we're gonna be choosing lures kind of based around that and Noah I want you to show them some of your favorite summertime fishing lures and uh, why they're your favorites I guess so I already have a few on my mind I was looking over here obviously you know we're talking about at least where we're at today we're gonna be fishing a lot of grass a lot of vegetation um, you know there's total different bodies of water that are gonna fish totally different during the summer like Pickwick for an example, Kentucky Lake, you know, deep ledges, you know, that's a big role player. But for what we're fishing, mainly shallow water, a lot of vegetation. I have a few baits I really think. You were just talking about shade lines, which is very important. And I can tell you one of my favorite baits to catch big bass in shade lines, especially with a lot of grass, is surprisingly a frog. Yeah, dude, that, I was Bro. gonna choose that if you didn't. A Ooh, frog is awesome. Baby. <laughs> Let me tell you, dude. Let me tell you. They got some little sexy frogs right here. They got the little $1 frog, Walmart frog right there. But anything, let me tell you. So this is the rule and thumb that I play. So if we're fishing an area, we're talking about grass mainly, you know, yeah. that type of vegetation. You also have pads. I throw a regular frog in the pads. I throw a popping frog in the grass. That's kind of the rule that I play by. But let me tell you, a popping frog in the grass, if it's you know hidden by a shade line, that can be golden. It's a really great way to catch a big fish. So one other thing that I want to talk about real quick while we're over here is soft plastics, because this is very important. In the summer, it gets really hot. Like where we're at today, it's around 90 degrees. And um, as the summer goes on, you know the water's gonna get hotter, it's gonna get hotter. And uh, the fishing can get a lot tougher. So with that being said, one of the biggest things that you guys can take back and go to wherever, whatever fishery you're at, it does not matter. Is soft plastics and slowing down. Um, so when it comes to that, dude, I mean freaking Sanko, bro. Here, dude, <laughs> if you're fishing shallow water, if you're fishing grass, throw this thing on a Texas rig. If you're fishing really thick grass um, where you can't really have a weight, you know, throw that thing weightless or throw a wacky rig. Wacky rig's killer. But I can tell you, if you were looking for a bait just to catch a bunch of fish this summer and wherever you go that you're just gonna make it happen, I can't promise you the biggest fish, but a Sanko, just outstanding. Another awesome bait would be a fluke man dude Any, you chose like three of my favorites so far I'm, i know i'm just kind of going down the line but but those I'll, I'll be quiet after that one but a frog in the shade lines man you yeah. got to go with your soft plastics it doesn't matter if the conditions are just flat out horrible or they're amazing conditions you're always going to catch them on a worm and then fl a fluke is another great option you can work this thing fast you can work it slow you can just dead stick it on the bottom I'm telling you, all those baits right there, that, that is killer. That's all you need really for this summer to go catch a bunch of fish. Well, Noah, grab those because we're going to be using those for the uh, for the giveaway and we're going to be probably fishing with maybe some of them today. I mean, Noah, I mean, he basically explained it perfectly, guys. All three of those lures, I mean, a frog is great in that grass. And also, what I like to do with those flukes and singos where I'm from is just bring them super slow through the grass. So, guys, we're definitely going to get the popper today too. I'm going to have you hold on to that. But basically, any topwater, kind of like early summer and also like late summer are my two favorite times to throw any 
type of top water. And then I guess like the final lure that I would throw during the summer would either be like a chatterbait or a swim jig, depending on the day, also the lake and the pond. Do they have any chatterbaits and swim jigs here though? Oh, oh nice. okay. snap. The black and blue, I mean, that's pretty good too. I keep it pretty simple guys. I'll either use like a black and blue chatterbait and sometimes I'll use like a shad pattern chatterbait. I don't really mix it up too much from there. But guys, the chatterbait is basically just like a crankbait for grass in my opinion. I love throwing this thing above grass as well. And pretty much nine out of the 10 ponds around here have just a ton of grass in them. So we also, I love throwing a swim jig maybe when the lake's a little bit tougher to fish. It's basically just a chatterbait without the chatter. So it's a little bit more of a finesse approach. I mean, I'd say those are my top five guys. I'm glad we came to Walmart because everybody has a Walmart. That's why I didn't yeah, want to go sure. to like it's Academy reasonable. or Dick Sporting Goods. So hopefully you guys can find these lures at your Walmart. I seriously think we got the best top five. Like any soft plastic is going to get the job done, guys. I mean, you're always going to catch them on it in the summer. All right, guys, we are leaving Walmart. We have the lures. So we're going to fish with some of them today, guys. But we're giving away all these lures to you guys. All you have to do to enter is be subscribed to me, subscribe to Noah, or kick in their Bass TV. I'll leave a link down below, of course, after this video is over because we're about to go catch some big ins. And leave a like on this video, and this part's optional right here. Leave a comment down below your favorite summertime fishing lure. Leave some tips down below to help everybody else who's learning how to fish because I'm sure a lot of people who are watching this are really good at fishing, and maybe some people are just getting into it. So we got different skill levels down here. So anything that can help will be appreciated, guys. Kicking and I are about to go slay on some big ins. First ever summer fishing trip this year. Big it's gonna be good. Let's go. Woo! All right, guys, we are here at the pond. Kicking the Bass TV, guys. We're gonna be doing some summer pond fishing today. We got Big four in. rods and reels with us. I brought the popper and the chatterbait, which you guys know, it's my favorite lures. Swim jig, another one really good. And this is actually a really cool, like this little fluke jerkbait type it's weird. deal. It's <gasps> dude, oh, dude, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Guys, we're gonna get started right now. They're chasing so bait. Cool. I think I'm gonna start with the popper just because we're here in Jacksonville today. And if I can throw a topwater lure, I'm definitely going to do it. That's my favorite way. And then if I can't, then I'll move to like a moving bait. And then if I can't catch one on a moving bait, that's when I go to the worm. Yeah, guys, I'm casting parallel to these grass banks right here. I mean, that's the best place in my opinion to throw a popper. Uh, sometimes in schooling fish too, but I love throwing parallel to banks with this lure. Dude, I hope so. Please stay on. I'm gonna do my dragon so loose. I don't know why. Oh my gosh. Dude, this is my biggest fish of the year, probably. It's up there, dude. This is top five. Dude, oh my oh my gosh. Guys. Dude, please run in the water for him. I'm not even kidding. Oh my gosh, no. Oh, guys, you don't even know how big that fish was. Look at that, Norm. We need a frog, bro. We need, we need a frog. <laughs> we need a frog. We can't even talk. Can't even talk while you're interrupting. We're going to try this out for a minute. I think it's going to be good. I'm going to work this swim jig along the grass. I'm going to throw the swim jig right on the grass lines, run it right past this vegetation and through the vegetation, and we should get a big one to bite. Yo. That was legit. Right on the edge of the grass, Norm. Swim jig city, right on the edge of the vegetation, what we were talking about. That's a decent one. He's really pretty, man. Look at the colors on this bass. Oh yeah. Look at that on the swim jig. He ate it good too. He dove over the top of it and his colors on this fish are awesome. One thing to note, especially here in the summertime, you guys are noticing once these fish are pushing up in all this grass and vegetation, they get super dark. That was a great example of that, but that's a pretty fish. Beautiful lateral line on that thing. Pretty, just about a pound and a half, but first fish, today and you got to enjoy that we're gonna give her a toss because it's really shallow here and this is the closest i can get so don't be mad but we got to give her a little a little toss on this grass ledge like that kind of i it might have been the same fish but dude there's one just it was like shoo, shoo, shoo. it was like saltwater fishing i was i was like dude what is going on <laughs> got him got him oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh on top water guys there we go guys i mean Jeez. I mean, it takes more talent to catch these little ones because their mouths are smaller. So if you think about it, at least the one pounder ate it good. Am I right, boys? Gosh, that's so cool, though. Look at how healthy that fish is. It's like so you were saying, bro, like dark. Yeah, They're up yeah, in that I'm vegetation. Like that. There we go, guys. Top water, always fun. If I can catch them on top, I will throw it all day long. <sighs> he missed it, dude. Yeah. He could just completely missed it. Like a three pounder. Oh, biggin! Redemption! Redemption! Oh my gosh! 
Guys! 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 Get him out of that grass. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. Guys, it's a freaking tank. Noah. <laughs> yes, guys. That's a five pounder. That's a five pounder. Baby. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. Yo, what in the world? Crazy. Look at that. Oh, he <laughs> ate it so good. Get it out right here. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we got an audience. Let's go. <laughs> Guys, after missing that monster, I mean, this is what summer fishing is all about right here. I mean, all day, oh, <laughs> calm down. All day five, maybe even five and a half. We do not have the scale with us. Of course, I know you guys can roast me in the comments. That's okay. I think this fish could be like maybe six at the max, but I mean, all day five pounder. Biggin, ate that top water. We're gonna let her go. Toss her. <laughs> oh, she swam off perfectly. Dude, okay. That's a tough girl, dude. That's a tough girl. Guys, that one that I had earlier, I'm still convinced it was probably like twice the size of that one, but it just feels good. I was down in the dumps a little bit. Like, no one knew. I was like, dude, I can't believe I missed that. That was such a cool video opportunity. I told but you, you just got to keep going. Just got to keep Next on bite. fishing, guys. It only takes one cast to catch your personal best bass. Remember that, people. Oh, dude, right when it hit the water. Did you... That's a good one, guys. Dude. <laughs> Dude, like right when it landed, I hadn't even popped it yet. I mean, that's a good two pounder. Guys, check that out. Little two pounder. I mean, maybe pound and a half. I don't know. But that was crazy. You see these like grass mats that are just floating out here. And I mean, I threw right next to it and he just came up, ate it. Yes, sir. Give him a little toss out there. Summer fishing can be fun, people. If you can sit out here in, at least in Florida, <laughs> in 95 to 100 degree weather every single day. I mean, it can be rewarding. It can pay off. That's my PB right there, bro. I told you I saw that huge wake from the left, and then 10 seconds later, he decided to come up and eat it. I'm not, I'm not messing around right now. Dude, his head was bigger than my head. <laughs> oh my gosh, I got him. Oh, that's a big one. Oh my gosh. Please stay on, please. Please. Dude, the top water is insane. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, that's easy. Like, that's six and a half in my book. All right, guys. I mean, this is my second big in on top water. I mean, this is one of the most fun days of fishing I've ever had. Just check that fish out. The iPhone doesn't make them look as big, but if we needed a scale one day, this would be the day. Of course, we don't have it. My books, I mean, that could be six pounder, guys, maybe five and a half. Dude, that is just a thick fish. That's a big girl. Oh, she's only a little bit of help. <laughs> that was <laughs> such a norm move. That was the normiest move I've seen in a very long time. All right, she's good now. You oh. have shoes on, dude. Yeah, that's fine. That's what it's all about, guys. Bass come first. Here's what we're using, though. It's a, uh, it's a Yo Zuri. It's like a little popper. Okay, so um, it stays on the surface. Yeah, and that braid helps it stay up top. Let's see. Let's check this okay, out. So no. That's it. No weight, nothing. Mm -mm. I'll show you how it... Where'd you get that? That was like literally right, probably right where the popper is right now, a little bit closer to that grass. We're just going to let it... Oh, um... You could get them at, uh, probably like Walmart, Walmart Dick's Sporting Dick's Goods or something like that. So guys, Norm has hooked a bunch of big fish on that top water. It seems like they really want that top water today. Um, we were talking... Oh my... Did you just hear that, dude? I think the swim jig is just a little too subtle for these bass. I think they're either wanting something really slow, like a worm, or a fluke, any sort of soft plastic, or they're wanting something to kind of irritate them. If this might've been a chatterbait, maybe it would get the bites. I just feel like it's a little too subtle. They're either wanting something that's gonna piss them off or something that's gonna be right in front of their face. But I'm not really counting this thing out though. It's all I have tied on right now. I think we can still get a fish on it. Oh, I just had one right there. There he is. Dude, he spit it. There he is. There he is. I got one, Norm. Uh-oh, uh-oh. On the swim jig, pretty good one. Hey, Norm. It's a pretty good one. Solid two number. Look at that, solid two and a half pounder. On the swim jig, looks like my trailer's about to tear up too, and that's my last trailer, so that is not the best sign. And you see what I'm saying? They're not really committing to it. It took him multiple times to actually finally eat that, but that's a solid two and a half. Guys, there we go, there Noah. Go. It's pretty fish, nothing huge. Nice one. 
You can tell the quality difference between the top water and that, but that's still a yeah. two and a half pounder. I mean, that's awesome, bro. And you caught him right out here at this corner? Yeah, right there. So he yeah. hit it like three times before. That's what I was talking about. Really? Like they don't, they, they almost want something more aggressive. So right after he hit it, I started popping it and he loaded yeah. up on it. He choked it though, but that's pretty fish. That's awesome, dude. Get right back in the water, I think. Maybe a toss. Yeah, probably a toss. I gotta get her. Nice, bro. And that's what I like to hey. do is push him up in that corner like that and trap the bait fish. So that's a good little spot to fish right there. Got him. Ugh. Guys. <laughs> oh guys i mean there we go it's it's crazy switching it up from like a five and six pounder to catching these little guys but that's what's cool about that popper is it can catch pretty much any size fish Whew. got him oh my gosh dude Guys. <laughs> oh, there he goes. <laughs> Guys, this was just an awesome day of topwater fishing. I mean, there's another three pounder. It's just crazy. Well, heck yeah, guys, there we go. I think we're about to wrap this one up. And we were just walking back. I was casting out, and I mean, I'll take an extra three pounder any day. Holy cow, it was so much fun. Give him a little toss. Ugh. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. I mean, for the first Crazy. summer fishing trip of the year, it was absolutely insane, guys. Noah got some good ones on the swim jig. I got some good ones on the top water. I mean, that's the way to start out the summer. Don't forget, guys, to enter that giveaway. That means you have to subscribe to both me and Noah. Also, leave a like on the video and leave a comment down below your favorite summer fishing lure if you want to. But yeah, yeah, um, favorite I like that. Yeah. Favorite summer fishing lure, you guys. Better drop it down below down below but guys we are gonna go get some water stay hydrated during these hot fishing times like for real that's it man that's it's a good it. day had that's a lot it. of fun but uh yeah we're gonna go catch some more biggins for another episode yep catch you guys in the next one fish bump peace